Hi, this is Lisa from LisaYangJewelry.com. Today I want to show you how I attach clasps to my daisy chain bracelets and necklaces. And the technique I'm going to show you today is different than the technique that I used in my video where I made the daisy chains. But I think this way gives you a lot of flexibility with what type of clasp you want to use. So what I do is I start by making a loop of beads at both ends. And this allows me to finish the entire chain. And then I can add the clasp later just using a jump ring. So here's one side of the clasp. And here's the other. And like I said, the really nice thing about this is that if you don't have a clasp yet, you don't have to worry. You can still make your beaded chain. And if you're not sure if somebody wants silver or gold, you don't have to worry about it right away. So here's how to start this way. Um, start by picking up your beads. I picked up eight beads because I like the size loop that that makes. And then I go back through all eight beads. And these are size 11 check C beads. Now it doesn't form a loop just yet. For whatever reason, it won't form a loop until you go back through the first bead. And that's when you'll be able to pull it into a nice loop. And you're going to want to pull it so that the thread goes all the way through. And then I'm going to go through all of the beads one more time. And the reason I do this is to make it stronger. You always want your clasp to be nice and secure and strong and not a weak point in your project. And the second reason I go through all the beads again is because it helps my thread end up right next to the tail thread. And that allows me to make a square knot and just secure my thread right at the beginning of my project. So here you go. I'm going to go through this last bead. I need to untangle my thread real quick. Pull it tight and tie these two thread ends together. And now I'm going to pull it tight one more time. And this time I'm going to loop through twice. I'm going to put the tail in through the loop twice. And that makes a surgeon knot, surgeon's knot, which makes sure it's really nice and secure. And then you're going to pull tight. Now once this is done, I have this tail thread that needs to be woven in, but otherwise I have this loop that I can use later to attach the clasp. And now I'm just going to make my bracelet or necklace like I normally would, pick up however many beads I need to make the pattern, and then I'll show you how to um, weave in this tail thread and finish the other end. So before I even start making the rest of the necklace and the daisy flowers, I've just done my first loop and strung some beads. And the nice thing is that I can already weave in this tail end. I don't even have to attach a needle or anything. And all I want to do is get the thread through a good portion of the beads and then just pull it through. And then here I can just tie one more knot to secure it. And then I've already tied off my tail thread, which is another nice thing to be done with when you're just starting a project. Then I don't have to go back at the end, take off the needle, and put it back on just to get this tail thread taken care of. So I tie the knot. And then I'm going to um, bring the beads back down. I'm going to find my scissors so I can trim off this thread. And you don't have to trim it off right away, but it is nice to just be able to adjust the beads over it right now. And uh, then I'm all done with the start of my project and my tail thread. So now I've made my bracelet and I've strung on eight beads on the end. And this is to make the second loop for my clasp. 
The second loop is always harder to make than the first, and that's true if you're using bead tips with clamshells or whatever you're doing. It's always harder to attach the second half of the clasp, and that's because you have all the beads strung and you have to keep everything tight and in place, so um, it's just a little more challenging. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going through all eight of the beads and um, I'm going to pull them tight and then I'm going to go back through to reinforce the loop, make sure my clasp is nice and strong. Now once I'm through them all, um, I'm going to pull it nice and tight and now I've got to tie off my thread. And I can't make the same type of a square knot as I made before, but you still need to knot it. So what you're going to do is this time you're going to make a half hitch knot around the thread. So make a loop, hold it tight, and then you're going to put your needle through the loop and keeping it in place, you're going to pull it tight so it's tied around the string right underneath the loop. And now you're going to do the same thing you did before as far as weaving in the, the thread and this time you have a needle to help you go back through. You're going to pull it tight and now you're going to make one more of the half hitch knots. And you're going to make a loop. You're going to put your needle through the loop and then you're going to pull it tight around the thread. And now I can cut this end off and just move the beads around so that covers the knot. And I've got a nicely finished bracelet and the only thing that's missing is the clasp. And to add the clasp, in this case, I'm going to be using one with a jump ring. And I'm just going to open up the jump ring and slide it on my loop and then twist it closed. And I'm going to grab my second pliers. And when I twist my jump rings closed, I'm always going to pass by the other side a little bit and then, you know, kind of wiggle it back and forth until it lines up. And now I'm going to repeat this on the other side and I'll use a nice extender chain and another jump ring. And I'll be done with my bracelet. And this is a really nice way for me to finish a project and it's really flexible. If I decide I need to change it, it's easy for me to open the jump rings and change it to gold. So I hope you like that. Thanks for watching and again visit my website where you'll find pictures of this and many other projects and tutorials at LisaYangJewelry.com. Thanks and have a great day.